to another vlog. I believe this is my mom vlog episode seven, if I'm not mistaken, but right now it is eight o'clock in the morning. It is Tuesday the 23rd, well, it's 7.58, and I have a chiropractor appointment at eight, so we're gonna do that, and as soon as we, it usually takes about 15 minutes, so as soon as we finish the chiropractor appointment, I'm gonna shoot, like, dart over to H-E-B and pick up my grocery order, and then Brian has to be at work by nine, so hopefully I make it home by, like, 8.45. But yeah, I was trying to be like right on time for my chiropractor appointment just because, like I said, on kind of a time crunch today. So yeah, that's what that is. But yeah, we are about to pull up to the chiropractor right now. So yeah, I made it just on time. Um, we ain't gonna talk about how fast I was driving or nothing like that. And I will be filming um, my hair routine soon. So many people have asked me for a curly hair routine even on um, like TikTok and Instagram. And so I will be filming one soon. Um, and definitely, I just washed my hair last night. And so my curls kind of depend on the day and how far I am into the week because I only wash my hair once a week. So yeah, but we are currently pulling up to the chiropractor. So I will see you guys afterwards. All right, so I actually forgot that I placed my groceries to be delivered between eight and nine, not to pick them up. And I wish I had not pay ten dollars and just went and picked them up because i'm already done and it's eight ten so i would have certainly had enough time to um get my adjustment and get uh my groceries but i mean that's okay you live and you learn um, my next appointment is in a month coming every month but doing stretches every single night like stretching my entire body every single night just keeping my body loose and like just limber i guess i can go to go get a car wash yeah, I'm gonna go get a car wash. And just keeping my body limber, it uh, like it really helps with that lower back pain. So first of all, go see yourself a chiropractor, especially one that can do decompression and manipulation and like all kinds of stem and heat therapy because that is what really got my back into shape. And then um, if you can't afford a chiropractor, just find lower back stretches. But also remember that like sometimes if your hips are tight and you're thighs and your hamstrings are tight like that's all pulling on your back so it's gonna make it hard um like it's gonna start pulling on that lower back so you just got to make sure your entire body is just relaxed and um, also build those back muscles to support your spine and these are all things that i'm learning from my chiropractor you guys i'm not certified nothing like that these are all things that he told me and it's been working really really well i will still get like some back pain but I'm telling you, like, by the end of the night, once I do those stretches, it's like my back is back at square one after all the therapy he did. And, man, there's just something about getting, like, that lower tailbone part pop because it popped really hard today. And he was like, man, like, your body is really loose. And I'm like, yeah, I started stretching, like, every single night. And also, um, I told him, I was like, I don't sleep on my stomach anymore because he said like whenever you sleep on your stomach and like you hike that one leg up your hips start to shift slowly over time and that can cause that pain so i stopped sleeping on my stomach i only sleep on my back and on my sides now and when i sleep on my sides i make sure my legs are directly stacked on top of each other because that plays a role in it too so yeah headed to the car wash now because yeah but i gotta let brian know so yeah car wash is done and this is my favorite part about coming early in the morning is that nobody else is using these um the thingies the vacuum so i'm gonna speed vacuum and then rush home so yeah hopefully it only takes me 10 minutes but i'm gonna set a timer for 8 35 so that way i can make it home by 8 45 so that way brian's not late to work all right you guys you thirsty yeah. we are gonna go ahead and do a little um grocery haul um, the boys wanted spaghetti and I didn't have the stuff for it yesterday so I had ordered it and I was going to try to pick it up for dinner and King stop yelling I'll, Ronald you can get on the wall now okay so I was saying the kids wanted spaghetti yesterday but I didn't have all the stuff and then I guess H-E-B is super busy right now because it's the week before Thanksgiving so I had to get it for this morning and then I ended up cooking something else for dinner last night so let's go ahead and see my little haul that I ended up getting Got it stuff out hold on i'll be right back after all this is taken out guys here is my little grocery haul 
got a little cracked pepper Caesar salad, two of those. And basically I got two of everything except for spaghetti and spaghetti sauce and these little Suda relax things. So I was wondering if those would help me relax right before bed. So I did go ahead and get those. And then I have become in love with these juices. So I got a Fuel One, Vibrant Probiotics, the Green Delight, and come on focus, Citrus Immunity. And then these are for Brian. I do not drink energy drinks. Um, so yeah, uh-oh. And then I got this Texas Toast. So yeah, that is it for a little haul, guys. Now it's time to put this stuff up. Hey guys, so after, I don't even know what the last thing was that I shared with you guys, but I um, ended up having to go help someone move a couch and then um, came back home and the boys took a nap, obviously had lunch and all of that. So I'm about to take them outside for some outside time. And yeah, that's about, that's it for the rest of the night. I'm gonna cook spaghetti. I'm gonna take my pre-workout right now. I'm only gonna give the boys about 30 minutes outside um so i actually might not take my pre-workout until we get back inside because at 6 30 i'll let me see okay so i'll take my pre-workout at 6 15 and i'll go ahead and make it right now so that way i don't forget and i'll just set a reminder on my phone but um at 6 30 i'll cook dinner actually i should just take my pre-workout at 6 30. yeah and then i should be working done working out at um from 7 to 7 30 and then i'll eat dinner at 7 30. so those are the plans that's if i decide to work out i might just stretch tonight so we shall see um i don't know we'll see it's kind of dark outside so i'm gonna try to keep them very close like in the garage plane but yeah they really want to go outside so that's what we're about to do you guys Hey guys, welcome back. Today is Wednesday the 24th. It's the day before Thanksgiving. We are currently here at the Science Spectrum. I thought I'd surprise the boys and I usually like to try to do something like this whenever we have um, my bonus. Oh Whenever we have my bonus son with me, I really like to try to like take him out, get him to do stuff because his mom like is a single mom so she has to work a lot. So, um, so she works a lot, I should say. And so she don't get to do a lot of stuff like this with him. And so I try to do it. And that's that. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and head into the science spectrum. So this is just the entrance whenever you walk in. Yeah, that little thing up there lights up. Yeah. This is just... Wow. You guys want to see a movie? This one. Okay. Hi guys. Mommy. <laughs> oh, you got some popcorn? for pizza after our little science spectrum trip pizza is what they get <laughs> you're so cute right
Oh yeah, they can see your pizza, King. Oh yeah, Bryson, they can see your pizza too. I'm gonna have some little mukbangers on my hands. <laughs> you guys we just got back from cc's well walmart after cc's we went to walmart because i was out of a brow pencil so i'll show you guys what i got because i was also out of one of my lip liners that i didn't pack to keep for makeup but i got a couple of other things so we're not sure when we're gonna finally unpack so just in case i bought two brow pencils and I went ahead and went with the wet and wild ones because they were the cheapest and I got the shade of deep brown on both of those got another real technique sponge I love this thing I don't know if Layla watches my chat on my vlogs but she's been raving about this so I picked one up and then I bought another one that one just ripped so I bought this one and I got this wet and wild lip liner in the shade Bare to Cinnamon because I ran out of my um, Keep It Spicy um, lip liner from LA Girl. And then I needed some silver necklaces that weren't chokers and I found these at Walmart from Time and Truth. So got me a few uh, silver necklaces. I'm super excited about them because they might be making me feel like I'm suffocating. And then for the boys, I got them a couple of games to play you know just to keep them preoccupied so yeah i'm about to lay down and rest and the boys are laying down and yeah that's pretty much all we are going to do for today you guys and i might go to the garage and pack up some more a little bit later but um for right now this is all i'm doing good morning guys welcome to back to this week's vlog um, by now you guys know that vlogs are the easiest thing for me to film right now. Brian and, our, Brian and I are going to try to sit down and finally film a, some Jesus chats together this week. Um, we might, I might try to talk him into bulk filming some while he has the time off because usually, you know, it's all work, work, work for him. But me, him, and King are out for brunch, breakfast. Actually, it's like 9 o'clock. So, um... Yeah, we are out for breakfast. We had a little mishap over Thanksgiving break with King. Go go, Daddy. So yeah, we are actually trying somewhere new. This has been a goal of Brian and I's is to try new places to eat considering Lubbock has over 600 restaurants. Wait, it's right here, baby. Oh, I didn't even see that trash can. I got it. You can. are trying this place called Stacked. I wonder if it's good because this hopefully I don't know. I just wonder if it's good. We've never tried here. It's a breakfast place so here we go. <laughs> Alright, so here's what the menu looks like. You want something to drink? Yeah, drink. Yeah, sit back. Stop doing that. Sit back. Mm -hmm. Alright, so here's what So this is their lunch menu. And I'm not sure if they serve breakfast and lunch all day, so that's what I'm gonna ask and see. Alright you guys, I got chicken fried steak, chicken fried chicken and eggs with hash browns and a biscuit. So 
He got sausage, eggs, and he has a pancake coming. Thank you. Thank you. And then Brian got an omelet. No. Sweet potato hash. No. no. It is an, an omelet. Egg, it's an all white egg white. Um, it's an omelet. It's egg white. It's not just, it's not just a regular omelet. Tell people an omelet and, they can and a yolk. French toast yeah. and let me cut it. It's an all egg white omelet with, with sausage, spinach, and peppers. Yeah, so yeah, we're about to eat though. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I do that, but it's, but it's still, yeah, well, it's never easy. Another BSF day. I'm tired. Hey guys, so we are heading to the grocery store. Um, Sunday, Brian and I have like a cough, sore throat, so we're not going to church. Even though the truck thinks we're going to church. But um, yeah, we're not going to church today, I don't think. But um, we do need groceries, so I'm gonna go ahead and get those while we're all home. And it's early, and the grocery store is empty because I'm gonna film a TikTok while I'm there of like what I'm buying. So, yeah. Oh, oh crap. Yeah, I almost forgot the freaking reusable bag. So, I'm gonna go grab those, and then we're gonna head to the grocery store. Hey guys, so we had just got too hard earlier to um, fixing my mic. Okay, so my bad you guys, earlier, when I, it was just too hard to film at the grocery store because I was trying to make a TikTok and vlog and it just, it just was not happening. So I ended up not filming, got home, put up all the groceries. I can do a rundown in the kitchen and show you guys everything that I ended up buying at the grocery store. Um, as a little grocery haul and then I do want to show you guys what I bought during Black Friday I didn't buy a lot just like some makeup and like one thing for the house and then yeah but I'm about to work out right now and it's just gonna be a quick little workout and so yeah I'm gonna do one workout per body part and I did that last night and it has my body super sore so we're gonna go ahead and do it again today and yeah so let's go ahead and get into it
When the lights out Alright you guys, workout is done. I'm about to go cook dinner and I'll show you guys what I'm cooking. I was looking for my headphones so I could watch YouTube while I cook. But, um, yeah, I'm about to cook dinner. It's not going to be anything fancy schmancy or anything like that. Oh, thank you baby. It's going to be some right. pasta. Yeah, I'm already done. I just finished. I was on my last set whenever you got out of the shower. Alright, so I'm going to pull out all the Stuff. Okay, so these are actually something that I bought. That I bought um, part of my grocery haul. So let me go ahead and show y'all that real quick before I forget. And then I bought these chips. I made nachos the other day, and I tasted those, and I was like, man, those are really good. Expensive, but worth the price because they are super healthy and clean. And then on the complete opposite end of the spectrum, we have been loving Cap and Crunch in this house. Um. I bought some cornbread mix because it's supposed to start getting cold and it's just that time of the year where I make my taco soup, um, chili, just all the soups. Uh, I bought two of these bone broths. Bone broths are apparently really, really good for you, full of collagen and things like that. And bone broth actually has a ton of protein. Well, this one doesn't, but most bone broths have a ton of protein. I've seen some that have like 10 grams of protein in them like per serving and I love to cook with bone broth, so. There's that, and then, okay, so I think that that's all I got in those cabinets. Let me see, is there anything else that I bought? No. Okay, so another part of dinner tonight, we are just going to have a little salad. I'm gonna add some bell peppers and cucumbers to that. And then, um, I bought some of these tortillas, and then eggs. My little microphone will not stay on. You buy what? Eggs. What? what tortillas? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so I bought some cheese. We got all the cheeses. This one's for like whenever I make spaghetti, Mexican food, and just regular cheese. Got sour cream for chili, green onions for chili that I'm cooking tomorrow. And then, like I said, I like these eggs. Um, we don't go through a lot of eggs, so I do buy them by the six count, but I'm trying to get back into eating breakfast again. So 
we got that we'll see how that goes i bought some of these immunity shots i believe i bought the elderberry ones um and then i bought some of these vitamin c ones and i think those are the only two kinds i bought today oh no i did buy a zinc one i just don't know where the zinc one is um it's somewhere in there i bought a zinc um I can tell by the color, but I can't even find, there it is. And then I bought this one, vitamin D and zinc. Bought some more strawberries, some more grapes. We needed some more cuties. So these were actually organic, but look at how huge this cutie is. Look, like, look at the regular size of them. And then compared to the bag I bought today, huge, massive. And then that's it in there. I bought, garlic bread also for a part of dinner and then if you have an H-E-B, they have this ice cream line right here um so brian really loves the mixed berry cheesecake but his new favorite is this blueberry streusel so got some of those let's see i feel like i bought so much more um oh yeah i bought this honey um local honey and then I bought this coffee because we're almost out of our Dunkin' Donuts one. And then restock of the boys' juices for whenever they're here at home. And then I bought Brian some rains. I got four um, of each. So I got him the watermelon war warlord. And then I got him the red dragon or something like that. There's a peach fizz back there, and then orange dreamsicle, and then we got, and then we got these Zevia ones, and so yeah, that is all that I bought today. I think I really feel like I'm for, I am forgetting something, and I just looked up at the cabinets. Okay, and then so down here, back here, you will see those little those little cereal boxes and puffins. I bought those, and that is it for the grocery haul. So now we'll show you guys what we're cooking for dinner. <sighs> I feel like I can't breathe. Okay, and so for dinner, we are having these, these raviolis in this sauce with toast and then, like I said, a salad. And so I will show you guys that whenever we're all done. I'm not doing anything fancy, so you boil those, throw the sauce on them, allow the sauce to get hot, and we are done. So, yeah, I'll show you guys once we are sitting down eating dinner. All right, you guys, I found my bone broth that has a ton of protein. See, like this one, organic uh, bone broth. This is chicken bone broth, nine grams, nine grams of protein. I cannot speak. So, yeah, those are the ones that I was talking about that have a ton of protein. Um, I honestly only bought these ones because I got cash back on Ibotta. So, yeah, <laughs> that's the only reason why. But, yeah, bone broth typically has tons of protein. That's my filming phone at the counter but this is how dinner turned out got a little raviolis and that cajun sauce salad bread hope oh, show king's plate mm -hmm. like mm. bryson yeah. daddy he has cream soda boys have juice i have kombucha i have like four of these in the fridge and i have to finish them by the 27th so Y'all join me on this journey. I'm gonna be drinking one like every day. Okay. All right, you guys, dinner is over. So I thought I'd show you guys what I got on Black Friday. Okay, so I did get a new diffuser. This is one that I've been wanting. And this is just this white ceramic diffuser. And it's so freaking cute. And I cannot wait to set it up and use it. I'll be able to use that by the end of this month. And I'm so excited. And then we're going to head to the room and I will show you guys the makeup that I got. <laughs> All right, so this is my little corner. I haven't put any of the makeup up, but I am ready to take it out of its packaging. Okay, so let me show you guys what I got. So I got these little petite, are these the petite ones? Yes. So if you have any kind of link to your nails, do not get these. I feel like these were made maybe for like people with super short nails because I cut mine as low as they could go and they still barely fit on my nose so I'm probably gonna give these away but they did last a week so that was not too bad I picked up some undone beauty I've been wanting to try this brand out for a while so this is actually really good I've been using it I really really like the highlighter in there and then picked up this covergirl clean fresh blush palette and I got the 
what shade did I get? Oh, Dream in Pink. I feel like this one was more peachy than the one that's called something peachy. But I think that's really cute. Really, really like it. And then I picked up the Lorac Petite, the Petite Pro Contour Palette. So let's get this out. Finally get rid of all this packaging. Um... And this is just what it looks like. And this, do not be fooled. Ah, I think I just dug my nail in there. Oh, no, I didn't. Awesome. So this, do not be fooled, is super, super pigmented. And the camera isn't even doing it justice. That's what it looks like. Super pigmented. It's still not doing it justice. I don't know. Um, I still need to film that Q&A, get ready with me. So maybe I'll film that tomorrow and show you guys this. Um, I picked up the Jaclyn Cosmetics Blush or Bronze and Blushing Duo, and I got the shade. Does it say on the box? Oh, yeah. I got Warm Flush and Golden Goddess. Um, this one, I feel like, is, I don't know, maybe I just got the wrong shade. Alright, hold on guys, I need to use two hands for this. Okay, so I feel like I just got the wrong shade of this, but I don't feel like it's that pigmented. I feel like I should set y'all up on something, but I have nothing to set y'all up on right now. So this is just what the packaging looks like. Super cute, ow. And the camera is actually showing this one pretty true to color. Maybe it's the different angle I'm in. Oh no, let me see. Mm, yeah, that's a little bit more accurate than the first one. So yeah, that is just what that one looks like. And like I said, it's not that pigmented, but it's not terrible. Like you can make it work. Um, I've been using the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Still testing this one out. So far, I do not like using this on my bottom lashes. So that's that. I picked up this Undone Beauty Flawless, Flawless Brow Duo. So it has a pin on one end and then the, oh, that's one thing I don't like about this. And then the other end is a brow gel. And this is super intense. Like I keep trying this and this is nothing like the next brow pin. And I don't know. I don't know, man. I got the shade dark brown. Really should have gone a lot lighter because of how intense this is. And then I picked up the CoverGirl Clean Professional Setting Powder because all of my makeup is packed up and I'm running out of my powders that I left out. So I bought this one. It was super cheap on sale. And then I picked up the ColourPop Wild Nothing Palette. Now this palette is actually just has like all the vibes I've been vibing with lately and makeup like really light and pretty and just like girly like I don't know it's like very very soft glam so we did go ahead and grab this one and I just thought it was super duper pretty and I've used it a couple of times and it's really good I really like it and then I did pick up a couple more sets of nails so these are, this is the real short line so really short and these are just their nude nails and so i'll probably be using these i haven't been wanting to put them on just because of packing and cleaning i didn't want to waste them so i haven't applied another set yet but i got these ones i thought these were really cute and then i got these long length these are like coffin shaped um acrylic nails and again they're just natural and um maybe i could use my gel polishes on them i don't know but i felt like just having like the long natural look and then some more Undone Beauty. I've been dying to try this line, you guys. And so I did pick up while everything was on sale. I picked up as much as I could. And so this is the Lip to Cheek Palette. And this is in the shade Flare. It's really, really pretty. I really like this shade. And then, sorry, guys. Sorry. I picked up a few more other things. I did really good at picking out my shades on mine too for a couple of things. The next thing I picked up though was another Undone Beauty product. I have one more after this. And this was their Forever Lip. So what's crazy is that the lip liner, like this is actually like a pencil. And I feel like this tip, which is supposed to be like the part that you fill in your lips with, 
should have been darker because this part that you line your lips with is really intense you can't blend it out like I don't know like these two products so far like are not the bee's knees yet maybe I just need to keep playing with them and then I picked up the Tarte Tinted Hydrator and I got the shade 25N Light Medium Neutral really good i've only used it once just to try it out to make sure i got the right shade but these are actually backups because i'm about to run out of my foundations that i left out since i've been doing my makeup every day and um yeah it feels so good to be using up makeup and then i this is probably the one thing that i should have gone a shade of dight dight down <laughs> a shade lighter i was trying to say down and light at the same time a shade <laughs> And so this one I got in the shade M90, and this is just a concealer. Again, running out of a concealer, so I did go ahead and pick this up. And then the Undone Beauty, what is theirs called? But it's like a tinted hydrator, tinted foundation, something. This is their Unfoundation Glow Tint, and this is... This is sheer to light coverage. I don't even think they should advertise it as only light coverage because you have to build it up. And then the last thing I picked up was this brush set from Real Techniques. So <coughs> I really got it because it came with two sponges and I think this whole thing was on sale for 10 bucks. And it's originally a $38 value. They're selling the gift set for 20 bucks and then it was on sale for 10 bucks. So I bought it. And then you have like this makeup remover cloth you have this highlighter brush and then like a, a concealer brush and then it came with two sponges their pro complexion sponge which i hadn't used in a long time and i use it and i actually really like it with tinted like like tinted face products because i've been using my ColourPop pretty fresh foundation and you know like that's light coverage but it applies it so pretty and then this is their miracle powder sponge so i haven't tried this one yet but i'm excited to and honestly, you guys, like, that is all that I picked up. Um, I plan on filming tomorrow. I really want, really want to try to film tomorrow. I'm going to make it a point. Um, I've been filming TikToks like crazy. So if you miss me, check me out on TikTok because I post a lot on there. Um, all, like, my cleaning stuff because you guys know I've really only been posting vlogs. So it is a goal of mine this coming week to find time to actually sit down and film videos and so I'm gonna try to do it you guys um it's just hard for me to film makeup videos because since I've been doing the fly lady cleaning method I do my makeup as soon as I wake up so maybe I just need to film as soon as I wake up do all my cleaning and stuff first and then film as soon as I wake up that sounds like a plan to me we'll see if I can do it um but I need to find a schedule that's going to work for me here soon anyways with filming before the boys wake up so i mean this will be a good test run so yeah all right you guys that's it um i'm going to call it a night i'm going to end this vlog i'm sorry it was really splotchy so you guys kind of saw where brian and i went out to eat breakfast on monday and then <laughs> i didn't vlog the rest of monday or tuesday and then wednesday i was like oh another bsf day and then i didn't vlog because actually tuesday i ended up with a migraine or, or Wednesday. Wednesday I ended up with a migraine after BSF and I mean it was an intense migraine like not just nausea like it was actually making me throw up and then I didn't vlog Thursday or Friday had every intention to um what did we do yesterday yeah we didn't do anything yesterday yesterday we were like we are all socialized out and like not we just wanted to stay home so I think we actually took a nap yesterday and that was just about it so yeah, you guys, um, that is it for this vlog. I'm sorry it was super crappy, and I promise I'm going to get better at vlogging. I'm going to try to remind myself to pick up the camera more, and mm -hmm. what are you laughing at, me? Hey, maybe. Why? Because I suck at being a YouTuber now? I'm a great TikToker right now. I'm just a terrible YouTuber. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, yeah, go follow me on TikTok, you guys, or even Instagram, because I post a lot of my TikToks to my Instagram reels. So if you're interested, I mean, you want to hang out with me, interact with me more, it's all the same everywhere, beauty and beauty and underscore Bible. I mean, y'all know that's my whole thing, so I really do need to get back into that here with you guys on YouTube. Um, 
but yeah everything's good you guys it's just a lot of a lot of changes happening so i can't wait to share them with you guys once everything is final finalized and it's signed sealed and delivered like just waiting on all of that stuff to go through but yeah you guys hold me accountable remind me in my vlogs hey take an hour out of your day and sit down and film and i'm pretty sure i can find an hour if i stop getting on tiktok so yeah so yeah, maybe maybe that's the next thing that I need to set. It probably should go into my parental controls on my phone and only allow myself a certain amount of time on social on social media because you can do that on your phone where your phone will kick you off after you've spent a certain amount of time. So maybe I need to do that, you guys, and be more productive with my time because I even slacked on working out this last week and my body's paying for it. But I love you guys. Always remember that Jesus loves you more. Y'all see my mans back there? I believe that. Babe. <laughs> All right, I love you guys. But always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button. And we will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Mwah. Mwah.